Hey, what's up, True Cut owner, share, friends, and family? I uh, thought I'd just show you this real quick just to kind of uh, spawn, uh, maybe spark some thought. And some of you guys maybe already do this and think about it, but uh, I don't always. I've got this little part here that's uh, less than an inch. And uh, as you know, cutting out a bunch of those, they're going to just fall right down to the bottom of the table and you're going to go spend a bunch of time fishing them out. And I have, you know, I've had to cut like 15 or 20 of these to get, you know, about half of those out of the table because you can't find them once they get down in there. Um, the other issue is this is eighth inch uh, aluminum, I mean, uh, stainless, 304 stainless. And, uh, you know, to deburr it, get the dross off of it, uh, clean up the edges because it puts that black. I've got to TIG weld these in. Um, you know, trying to hold that as a little bitty part against the belt sander is almost impossible. So if you put some bridges in the CAD, and I'll just show you here real quick. Um, and I know this probably got some glare on it, but this is just, you know, Inkscape here. And I just created those really quick, duplicated them, and then drew some little bridges like this and connected it and did a union on it. And then, you know, you got your sheet cam, just cuts it out. And uh, so, The, the other thing about, about it is you, uh, you know, you don't have to fish all of it out, which is awesome. But then trying to clean up all these edges, man, talk about some burnt fingertips, uh, trying to do this. But with this, you got a good handle on this. And if you leave enough room to get in there and I realize you're wasting some material, uh, but you're, I mean, what little material you're wasting, you're saving big time on the end. So, um, I can get all the way around this. Watch. So all the way around it without getting my hands anywhere near it, without heating my hands up, that thing's, you know, gets really warm. If you've ever worked with stainless very much, you know it saturates the heat really quickly. And that's a 24 grit belt. And when you get done, so when you get done with all your prep work, just take a, a grinder with a cutoff disc or, you know, you could do it on bandsaw vertical bandsaw you know however you want to get it off of there this is just quick and easy to nip it off and that's that's 40 thousandths wide there um you know which is like 20 gauge uh, thickness and we just got one little last area to uh, clean up on the belt sander just nip that real quick and it's a perfectly clean part no burnt hands no fishing for parts Hope that helps somebody.